Welcome back to Movie Rewind. Today I will recap for you a horror, thriller film from 2014 titled Girl House. Spoilers ahead, watch out, and take care. In 1988, Rehoboth, Alabama, two girls trick an overweight kid they have nicknamed Lover Boy into dropping his pants and puckering for a kiss, only to incessantly tease and humiliate him for doing so. When one of the girls rides home afterwards, Lover Boy knocks her off her bicycle, badly injuring the young girl. As the girl lays atop the bridge in pain, Lover Boy then throws the bike, and eventually the injured girl, into the shallow creek below, making the death appear to have been an accident. Back in the present, Kylie is a college co-ed, struggling to pay her way through school following the unexpected death of her father. To make ends meet, Kylie spends her free time in front of a webcam, live streaming for an adult-only website. Her roommate, Liz, disapproves of this and encourages her to search for other work, but Kylie defends her actions stating that it's nothing like prostitution, and besides, she would probably be doing the same things regardless, the only difference is the camera watching. Kylie is recruited by an ambitious entrepreneur, Gary, to join his online venture, Girl House. Through its vast array of camera feeds, the Girl House website provides subscribers 24-7 access through its interactive platform. Gary puts Kylie's mind at ease when he shares that both the network, and the physical property, both state-of-the-art security, and there is no obligation for the girls to do anything they don't want to. The limo arrives at a vast estate, where Kylie is introduced to her housemates. Steve, a former college football player, is one of the two security guards who protect the property. Janet, who is popular with executive clients, frequently hosting them for private sessions. Heather, by far the wildest amongst the group. Kat, and her real-life girlfriend Mia. And lastly, Devin, widely regarded as the star of the house. After getting settled into her room, Kylie performs a striptease in front of the camera, grabbing many of the viewers' attention, including that of Lover Boy, a regular on the Girl House site. Also watching the performance are Alex and his college roommate, Ben, the latter of which recognizes Kylie as the girl he's had a crush on, dating all the way back to kindergarten. Kylie tells Lover Boy that she has to go, but promises they can private chat the next day, and agrees to 4 p.m. That night, someone approaches the house and stops to snoop around the security center. The second security guard, Big Mike, is fast asleep, giving the intruder full view of the access code. The unknown prowler uses it to bypass the entry gate, then enters the house through the front, before sneaking up on and startling Janet in the kitchen. The mysterious figure is revealed to be Anna, a former resident of Girl House, now recovered after being kicked out for her drug addiction. Upon learning that her room in the house has since been filled, Anna appeals to Gary using the camera system, and after seeing the resultant spike in viewership, Gary allows her to stay but she must sleep on the couch, and Anna says he won't regret it. Meanwhile, Ben, still shocked to have stumbled across Kylie, continues watching the website, which only shows Kylie sleeping. Since Ben is never going to see her in person, Alex teases him for it, but he changes his tune after learning that Kylie attends nearby Selby College, which is just seven miles away. The following morning, Ben travels to the Selby campus, where he seeks out and approaches Kylie, pretending that it's a pure coincidence as he has a science lab there. Ben asks Kylie about her summer break, but she sadly reveals that her father had died. Feeling awkward, Ben suggests they go for a snack sometime, and Kylie doesn't hesitate to agree, then programs her number into his phone. Seeing the time, Kylie says she's late for an appointment, but reminds Ben to call her as she rushes off. Kylie hurries home and quickly logs onto the site, arriving just a few minutes late for her scheduled chat with Loverboy. Relieved, Loverboy says he didn't expect her to show because girls always stand him up, and he asks Kylie if they can chat without her undressing. They begin with a bit of small talk, and Loverboy shares his occupation, but he startles Kylie when he sends his photo to her laptop, and nervously asks if she thinks he's handsome. Kylie replies in the affirmative, which pleases Loverboy, but she ends the session soon after when Ben texts about getting together. The following day at work, an attractive woman catches Loverboy's eye, and he gets caught admiring her figure. Embarrassed, Loverboy tries to hide himself in his work, but the woman stops and approaches him, and gives the impression that the interest is mutual. She compliments Loverboy's work, noting that intelligence is an attractive trait, which only serves to make him more nervous. The flirtatious words are revealed to be derisive when the woman begins berating Loverboy, calling him a pervert for looking up her skirt, and noting how easily she could have him fired. Now trembling, Loverboy imagines bashing the woman with his crowbar. He can see the blood running down the side of her face, which shocks her onlooking co-workers. In reality, 
However, Loverboy only stands in front of her, motionless, and waits for the woman to eventually finish berating him. Meanwhile, Kylie and Ben see each other again, and Kylie marvels at the irony of them running into each other. In a moment of honesty, Ben confesses that it wasn't entirely random, revealing that he is already aware of Girl House. Assuming the worst, Kylie suggests that he only wants to get with her after seeing her naked, but Ben, on the contrary, eases her mind by saying he only brought it up so that it's not a problem if they continue seeing each other. Elsewhere, Loverboy returns to his home, dejected about his earlier experience. Hoping to find Kylie, he logs onto Girl House, where he frantically pans through camera views. Failing to locate her, he next goes into Devin's chat, and bombards her with questions about Kylie's whereabouts. The interruption earns Loverboy a block from Devin, but he easily bypasses the lockout, and goes right back to resume his search. The girls in the living room respond to his inquiries similarly, going even further by mocking his username and calling Loverboy pathetic, which elicits tears due to the all too familiar feelings. Still panning through the various cameras, Loverboy catches a glimpse of the house bulletin board, which upon closer inspection, displays the photo he had sent to Kylie, which was subsequently found by Anna, and is now being used to mock his appearance. Enraged, Loverboy grabs a nearby knife, and plunges it repeatedly into the eerie mannequin woman that Loverboy keeps in his basement. Upon returning home, Kylie finds Loverboy's photo on the bulletin board. Then, back in her room, she tries to log on to the girl house site, but it melts away to reveal a cryptic message. The following morning, Loverboy hacks the girl house network to obtain the remote monitoring center's location. There, he uses a stick to prop one of the doors open, then dons his rubber mask and ambushes the network technician, crushing his skull in the metal doorframe. After brutally killing the remaining personnel, Loverboy accesses the mainframe and connects the home security and automation system to his cell phone. Next, Loverboy approaches the girl house compound, his red metal toolbox in hand. Steve confronts him at the property line, where Loverboy disorients him with mace, punches him, then breaks Steve's neck from behind. Meanwhile, Kylie is out on another date with Ben, who invites her to spend the night at his dorm. Unfortunately, Kylie has to decline due to a mandatory study group, but she takes a rain check and promises she'll do so very soon. Back at the house, Anna, back to using illicit drugs again, gets high in the off-camera room. Loverboy uses his remote access to scope out the house and unlock the front door, then locates Anna, whose vision is so blurry at this point she can't even tell he's wearing a mask. Loverboy takes advantage of her dazed state by charging Anna before she has a chance to react, then chokes her to death from behind. Unaware of the danger they're in, the rest of the housemates go about their business as normal. Heather has her boyfriend over to watch a movie, and Devin puts on her regular show. In the meantime, Loverboy uses his access to disable the house's landlines and block the cellular signal. Alex and Devin move over to a private chat, where Alex catches a glimpse of someone in the background. Uncertain if he saw someone or his eyes are playing tricks on him, Alex asks Devin if someone is in her room, but she has no idea what he's talking about. Seeing the masked intruder a second time confirms that Devin is not alone. Alex tries to alert Devin of the situation, but she thinks he's just trying to freak her out and ends up exiting the chat. Alex's camera refreshes just in time to see Devin being attacked by Loverboy. The intruder drags Devin by the hair, and forces powdered bleach down her throat. Alex, still not positive the whole scene isn't being staged, grabs Ben from the adjacent room and has him assess the situation. Meanwhile, Loverboy pins Devin against the wall, where after reciting the adage that beauty is only skin deep, he mutilates her face with a box cutter. Now panicked, Ben tells Alex to call the police as he attempts to contact Kylie, but both calls and texts are unsuccessful, and even his email doesn't go through. Alex doesn't fare much better in his efforts, without an address or even a general location, the emergency operator isn't sure how she can help. Next, the now disfigured Devin is displayed in front of her camera. Enabling her audio so that viewers can also listen, Loverboy proceeds to chop off her fingers with a hatchet. Kylie gets dropped off from study group and notices the empty security center, but she doesn't find it particularly alarming and heads inside as normal. Uncertain as to what he can do but knowing it's not to just stand by idly, Ben heads out to start driving towards Kylie, and asks his roommate to leverage his technical skills and extract anything relevant from the web server. Back at the house, Heather and her boyfriend retire to the bedroom, and just as they turn on the camera and start getting busy, he notices the ominous masked figure staring at them. Loverboy knocks the man over with his metal toolbox, then grabs Heather from behind, forces an adult toy down her throat, and tapes around both her mouth and hands. Hearing the commotion from the adjacent room, Janet goes next door to investigate, as Alex can only watch from a distance, 
helplessly. Janet pushes the door open to discover a suffocated Heather on the bed, and Loverboy dismembering her dead boyfriend. Janet attempts to flee, but doesn't make it far before Loverboy catches up to her, and launches her off the edge of the balcony. Devin, still alive but fingerless, crawls back to her computer where Alex desperately asks for the girl house address. After a failed attempt at typing, he tells her to use her nose, which is working, albeit slowly, but Loverboy cuts the camera feed before she can finish. Next, Loverboy maxes out the temperature gauge, and locks Mia inside the sauna. By the time Mia realizes the door is stuck, the room is already approaching dangerous temperatures. As the temperature inside continues ascending, Mia uses one of the heating stones to shatter the glass, then reaches through and drops it to dislodge the crowbar, thereby freeing herself, and she runs to the backyard pool to cool off. Unfortunately, Loverboy locates her there, and is waiting for her at the edge of the pool where he kills her with a sledgehammer. Kylie hears the screams from inside her room, and looks out the window to see Loverboy hovering over Mia's body. After turning around to see Kylie watching, he locks all of the doors and windows to the house, leaving her captive inside. Ben arrives at Selby College, where having never actually been to Kylie's room, he's forced to canvas the dormitory asking residents if they know her. Eventually, Ben runs into Liz and shows her what's going on, and although she doesn't have a street address, Liz at least knows the town they should start in. Kylie scans the cameras and discovers everyone either dead or badly injured, the lone exception being Kat, who is sleeping soundly in her room. While Kylie wakes up Kat discreetly, Janet, who broke her legs in the fall but is still alive, stabs the bypassing lover boy with a house decoration, but it barely slows him down and upon recovering, he turns the weapon back on Janet. Next, Kat and Kylie see Loverboy headed their way, so they barricade the bedroom door with a dresser, as he punches through the door with his crowbar, attempting to force his way in. Despite both girls desperately trying to hold the door in place, even their combined strength, and the weight of the dresser, are not enough to keep Loverboy out. Cornering Kylie, he fondles her with his filthy hands, as he whispers that he thought she was nice. It is at that point when Kylie recognizes Loverboy, just as Kat returns with a field hockey stick and knocks Loverboy to the floor, unconscious. Downstairs, Kat opens the front door and is shocked to find Big Mike there, however, before she can explain what is going on, Loverboy regains consciousness and runs down the stairs, catching Big Mike in the throat with a screwdriver. Kat slowly slides away, tearfully pleading with Loverboy not to kill her, but the psychopath shows zero sympathy, and he kills Kat with his hammer. Kylie, who had stayed behind to rescue Devon, finds her sitting on the floor of her room, having lost all hope as an effect of her current condition. With Loverboy still lurking, Kylie pleads with Devon to get up, however, distraught over her mutilated face and amputated fingers, Devon requests that Kylie instead just kill her. Obviously refusing, Kylie tells Devon to wait quietly in the bedroom, and she promises to find help in return for her. Elsewhere, Ben calls the police back to see if they have made any progress, and he's encouraged to hear that they have the house's address, and are preparing to enter momentarily. As it turns out, the police are at the technical facility, where upon storming the building they only find the bodies left over from the earlier carnage. Luckily, Alex obtains the real address by hacking the website's ISP, so after declaring his roommate a genius, Ben speeds off to the house with Liz. Just outside the house, Kylie runs to the nearby shed, but finds the door locked and there's no other way to get in. Loverboy finds her there, she narrowly avoids his crowbar, and Kylie kicks him away before running back into the house, just before Loverboy can lock her out. Contemplating what to do next, Kylie is hit with a plan. She enters the utility room, disconnects all the cameras, until just one feed remains. Now certain that Loverboy will see it, Kylie displays a handwritten message, taunting Loverboy to come find her in the basement. Kylie snaps a pool cue in half, exposing a sharp edge, and grabs a handheld video camera before cutting the power, and waiting for Loverboy to be lured in. Lurking in the pitch-black basement, Kylie uses the camera's built-in night vision mode to spy on the unsuspecting Loverboy. When he gets out his phone, Kylie seizes the opportunity and pounces, impaling Loverboy with the jagged pool cue. Badly injured, Loverboy removes the cue from his stomach, and still manages to overpower Kylie by pinning her down and choking her with both hands. Kylie stretches hard to extend her arm, eventually reaching the video camera, which she uses to bludgeon Loverboy and knock him off her. Seeing Loverboy incapacitated, Kylie clubs him with the camera, many times without relenting, making absolute certain that Loverboy is dead. The badly traumatized girl unlocks the front door, and walks outside, where she falls to her knees as Ben and Liz arrive. Okay guys, thank you for watching. Please leave a like on the video, and subscribe to the channel to see more.